Ahoy there, pirates. Amir, or one falcon, here for Mare Thief. The next step of Flameheart's wicked plan is complete. He has successfully summoned six haunted sea forts from the Sea of the Damned to the Sea of Thieves. These sea forts are no longer just ghostly memories fading in and out of reality. Instead, they are now physical fortifications, fiercely defended by a crew of phantoms loyal to Flameheart. If you approach these sea forts, prepare for a barrage of cannonballs to rain down on your ship. If you survive the cannon fire and make landfall, you'll then have to deal with dozens of fearsome phantoms as you explore the sea fort. Once you have conquered waves of phantoms and defeated the mighty captain of the fortress, you have cleared the sea fort and gained access to its treasury. So how exactly do sea forts work, and what makes them different than skeleton forts? Sea forts are naval strongholds provisioned with cannons, resources, and treasure. Similar to skeleton forts, sea forts can be active or inactive. When active, sea forts provide a small raid experience for all pirates to try and conquer. Unlike skeleton forts, there isn't a giant cloud in the sky to signal nearby pirates that a sea fort is active. Also, more than one sea fort can be active at the same time. You can tell if a sea fort is active if it has raised flags and a green glow that you can spot from a distance. As you approach an active sea fort, you'll hear a warning bell toll as hostile phantoms take up position to fire cannonballs at your ship. Once you're on the active sea fort, you will find weapon-wielding phantoms, not skeletons, roaming its halls ready for a fight. After clearing a sea fort, it will become inactive and undefended until you leave. While uninhabited by phantoms, you can use the sea fort as you see fit. For example, you can use the kitchen to cook up some food, take a nap in any one of the beds, or even defend your freshly earned treasure from an incoming enemy crew. So when will the fort become active again? After you've cleared a sea fort, it will stay inactive for as long as any pirate is within one kilometer of it. Once everyone has left the sea fort and is more than a kilometer away, a 20 minute reset timer will start. However, anyone returning to the sea fort during the cooldown period will pause the timer. There are a total of six sea forts in the Sea of Thieves. You can find two in each of the three original regions. Each sea fort has a different look depending on its region. The sea forts in the wilds look like a gloomy prison with chains and cages scattered across them. The sea forts in the ancient isles look like an overgrown ancient structure with lush plants sprawled all over them. And finally, the sea forts in the shores of Plenty are clean looking without many blemishes. You can easily find a sea fort by scanning your map table on your ship. Just look for an island with a fortress in its name. You can also scan your handy interactive map to find the closest sea fort. So now that you know how sea forts work, how exactly do you complete a sea fort? To complete a sea fort, you will first need to defeat seven waves of phantoms. You will hear a ringing of a bell at the end of each wave, letting you know that you've completed it. Once you've finished seven waves, you'll then have to take down a captain of the fortress during the eighth and final wave. The captain of the fortress is the fort's last defense and will put up a good fight. The sea fort is packed with resources and ammo crates to help you during battle. We managed to quickly complete a sea fort with a cutlass and blunderbuss equipped. Upon defeat, the captain of the fortress will drop a fortress treasury key. You can use this key to open the door to the fortress treasury. Inside, you'll find gold piles and lots of treasure to ferry back to your ship. If you lose track of the key, don't worry, it glints like treasure from a distance. The sea fort's difficulty is based on the size of the crew who started the encounter. Depending on the crew's size, it should take 10 to 15 minutes to complete a sea fort and retrieve the key to the treasury. You can expect to battle more challenging phantoms if you have a larger crew. After you've cleared the fort, you can take your time moving treasure to your ship and exploring every nook and cranny inside. As you explore the sea fort, you'll find dozens of gold pouches and other pieces of treasure hidden in cabinets, cupboards, and crates. If you have a keen eye, you could earn yourself around an extra 2,000 worth of gold. You'll also make progress towards the Master Burglar Commendation for finding all that secret stashed treasure. Another reason to scour the sea fort is to find the hidden fortress storeroom key. This key will give you access to the storeroom at the top of the sea fort with even more treasure inside. You can find the key in any one of the many cabinets, cupboards, and crates scattered around the sea fort. The fortress storeroom key is guaranteed to spawn, so if you can't find it at first, keep looking. So that about covers everything you need to know about sea forts. If you have any questions, comments, or wild stories while taking on a sea fort, be sure to leave a comment below. See you on the sea, pirates.